shut the fuck up. Okay guys, today is a quick one. So how to paint this realistic woody head sculpt in one six scale, okay? For just two hours. First of all, the base. The base color is very important because it will determine whether your painting for the next step is gonna be successful or not, okay? However, <laughs> Compared to airbrush by using the hand painting for the base, it's quite tiring because now you see that I am, this is actually the second layer of the base. Quite hard to cover the gray primer paint. Okay, so after three layers, now I'm gonna start the warm color tone, which is consists of red and orange. As for the warm color, uh, don't wash it all over the head, okay? Just paint it part by part. So usually it's the tip of the nose and the ears and the cheek. And now it's the brown wash because you don't want your head scalp to look very pale. With a little bit of brown wash, it will look much more natural, okay? While you are painting the brown and the red, paint a little on the lips. And now it's for the cold tone. Cold tone is usually on the beard area, the nose, upper part of the nose and the neck. Okay, and then this painting method as usual, you're gonna paint it a lot of times, okay? Overlapping each other. Sometimes when you think that it's too red, Paint the cold tone on top of it. As for the eyes, white with a little bit of green for the eyeball. And now I'm drawing the inner eyelid, the red color with orange color. Sometimes I add a little bit of the pink and the base color, the flash, flash tone base color. Now for the eyeball, I'm using a very dark green to shape up the eyeball shape first, okay? Very thin layer of paint, I mean very watery, scalp it up slowly. Like I said that uh, before that, I really hate painting the eyeball, but now painting eyeball is the my most looking forward part because it's kind of fun already when you get used to painting the eyeball I'm still practicing to paint it better each time for the eye double eyelid I've used a brown okay very watery to shape out so you can see the contrast between the eye double eyelid and the skin now I'm using a dark brown for the base for the eyeball. Remember that uh, you have to paint using from darker color to lighter color, which is much more easier to paint. And now this is the beard wash. Consists of dark blue and dark green. Make it very watery. Just wash it all over the beard area. Now for the eyebrow, sorry the camera doesn't focus <laughs> focus on my hand. But this was quite, quite easy because hand sculpted head sculpt, actually they have a very tiny hair for the eyebrow. So it's very easy to paint. And now I'm using the brighter brown for the hair. As usual, compared to previously, uh, this time I'm using a very watery color, which I think it looks better. If the paint is too thick, you don't really see the contrast between the hair and your head scalp. The scalp of the head, okay? With a little bit of skin color in between of those hairs. This is fun. But uh, you need to be patient because it doesn't cover entirely. And for the eyes, this Citadel Glossy Gel. 
It will make your eyes look so good. Okay, wait for it to dry. Yeah. But I think the head is too brown or too red, like a red head. So now I'm doing the darker brown wash to tone it down, which I think it looks better than the red one. Okay, now you can see it covers a little and with a little bit of contrast. And this is it. This is done in a very quick two hours because I don't have a lot of time <laughs> and if you guys love this video don't forget to subscribe and give me a like on this video and i'll see you guys next time goodbye